Dear BTU 6th semester mechanical engineering stream students, I welcome you all into my channel. Hope you are all doing well. So if you are stressed about uh, the subject heat transfer, my dear friends, so don't worry. You are not alone. A lot of students ask me, uh, can we pass the subject with the theory alone or not? So well, the answer is yes. Uh, you can pass the subject only by theory itself, but not always, right? Sometimes the papers surprise us. Sometimes papers are unexpected and when that happens, numericals can make or break your score you should keep this thing in mind okay so it is not possible to leave the numerical portion at all so in this video i have picked the most important theoretical questions and i will tell you uh, for the numericals which papers you have to refer and which part you have to refer and which modules are easier over there okay for this particular subject so dear students let's break it down together module wise over here i have taken the super important question so subject code is bme 601 let me discuss here the module wise important question later on i will tell you which modules are easy which are passing modules over there so first of all we have here module one state and explain the laws governing three basic modes of heat transfer okay this is the super important one which you cannot neglect simply the whole module is based on these three modes over there okay so explain the experimental method of determining the thermal conductivity of a metal rod explain the boundary conditions of first second and third kind most important one derive an expression for temperature distribution and rate of heat transfer for a plan wall derive the general three-dimensional heat conduction equation in cartesian coordinates and state the assumptions made okay it may be sometimes 10 marks question but sometimes eight marks okay so you have to prepare for this question also derive critical thickness and insulation of cylinder uh, next one we have derived 2d heat conduction equation for hollow cylinder and numericals uh, you have to focus on the composite walls very easier problems are there okay so for that you should refer 18 me 63 paper and 21 me 62 papers for your reference okay if you are not uh, getting these papers let me know in the comment section i will upload these papers on my instagram page okay so most certainly 14 is the instagram page over there okay you can visit and check out these papers later on and let me know in the comment section kindly so next one we have a model second uh, in which you have to go through deriving expression for the temperature distribution for a pin fin when the tip of the fin is insulated define effectiveness of a fin and efficiency of a fin sometimes they will ask you okay, the significance of this efficiency right next one we have obtain an expression for uh, instantaneous heat transfer and total heat transfer for lumped heat analysis treatment of heat conduction problems define biot number and fourier number explain their significance derive the expression for the temperature distribution and heat transfer for an infinitely long fin of rectangular profile and as i earlier said for the numerical portion you have to refer 18 me 63 and 21 me 62 and model question papers also for the numerical part okay next one we have model third so the model third is easier one you can easily get 20 marks you have to focus on only one part that is there are two chapters right so you have to focus only on one part the questions which i have taken you just go through these questions only and taking numericals uh, that is radiation part which i will tell you later on so explain briefly the concept of a black body and gray body with an example state and explain kirchhoff's law Stephen Boltzmann law and Planck's law, Venus displacement law. So this may be the 10 marks question. Discuss the different implicit and explicit finite difference schemes used to solve the transient heat conduction problems. Differentiate between the experimental, analytical and numerical methods of determining the solution of a heat transfer problem. Fifth one we have deeply explain the use of numerical techniques to solve the heat transfer problems. Explain the process of discretization. Uh, explain the process of discretization based on finite difference methodology so practice radiation problems only which are easier ones so you can easily get 20 marks from this particular module as it is the scoring module not only the passing module you should remember so this is not only the passing module this is the scoring module which you should keep in your mind next one we have again the passing module that is module fourth differentiate between free and forced convection next one we have explain velocity boundary layer and thermal boundary layer define hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness thermal boundary layer thickness explain the experimental method of determining heat transfer and heat transfer coefficient when the air flows over a horizontal cylinder and vertical cylinder define the following non-dimensional numbers that is Reynolds number Prandtl number Nusselt number and Grashof number with respect to the fluid flow over a flat plate uh, explain the formulation of a hydrodynamic boundary layer and velocity boundary layer so for numericals you should refer kindly 18 me 63 21 me 62 and model question paper next one we have model fifth in which you have 
have to go through these uh, four theoretical questions only derive an expression for lmtd for a counter flow heat exchanger and state the assumptions made sketch a pool boiling curve for water and explain briefly the various uh, regimes in boiling heat transfer differentiate between the mechanism of film wise and drop wise condensation explain why drop wise condensation is preferred over film wise condensation next one we have derived an expression for lmtd for a parallel flow heat exchanger and numericals on parallel flow and counter flow exchanger these are very easier ones okay so this is the only way uh, you can pass the heat transfer subject so it is not possible uh, to some extent uh, by only theoretical portions okay make sure you will go through the numerical part uh, in depth so what are the theoretical uh, concepts you are understanding okay so from those derivations you have to only cover the numericals from those derivations only what are the formulas are there okay so you should remember those formulas and try to apply in the numericals you will easily get so you will easily pass the heat transfer subject but i am giving you the assurance you can easily score if you are good in the numerical part also okay this is not the tough subject but sometimes papers are unexpected for these type of papers as you might have gone through these uh, five semesters over there okay sometimes with you is uh, setting the papers unexpected you know already better than me right so this is all about this uh, heat transfer important questions make sure these questions should be at your utmost priority and i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you